When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco Di Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city is safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design. For delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime.
I'm beginning to think your face would look better black and bloated, with your tongue out and a robe for a collar. And wounded. I have served dukes, princes, kings. Ezio! <laughs> come in, come! I've been sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who isn't? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scouts to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. I've got something else for you as well. More Codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counter-attacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro. Teach me what to do. Now dodge! Uh, hurry up and die! I'm getting thirsty! Uh. Oh. Yeah. 
Bene, bene. Now do it again. Much better. One last time. Enjoy. Bravo. another time. Poor little Faiso, dying just to follow orders. Just one more time, Ezio. Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. Metal work here. seen a stranger man truly. Ah, there you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend.
He must have you, Kakasan, we need him. Let us pray for us. Pray? Pray for what? The Lord's protection. If you think the Lord has any interest in our affairs, you've another thing coming. But please, by all means, continue to delude yourself if it helps to pass the time. You speak blasphemy. No, I speak truth. But to deny his most exalted existence is the only rational response when faced with the declaration that there exists some invisible madman in the sky. And believe me, if your precious Bible is anything to go by, he is completely lost his mind. How can you speak as such? You wear his vestments. Only because they afforded me the opportunity to get close to the Medici. But you're right. I should look into replacing them after the assassin is dealt with. Ah, that unholy demon. At least on this we agree. They say the devil has gifted him with unnatural speed and strength. The devil? No. These are the gifts he the gave himself as a training. It is disturbing how unwilling you are to credit people for their circumstances. I think you'd make victims out of the entire world if you could. I forgive your lack of faith and forked tongue. You are still one of his children. I told you. Uh, what's the use? Enough of this. It is like speaking to the wind. I will pray for you. As you wish. But do so quietly. I must keep watch. Get out of here before I call the guards! Hmm, all seems secure. Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacopo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora si libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. Get away! <laughs> 